Hey, what's going on? What's good, Alain? Nice to meet you, you brother. Uh, when I saw... Brother, it's Christmas here. Yeah, <laughs> nice you asked. Uh, I made a promise with my community that I was trying to do like a huge challenge on Warzone. That's really difficult. Like it's the nuke uh, event that you need to win a lot of matches and do a lot of stuff to yeah. do it. But I mean, I, I told them like, I'll get rid of the of the Christmas tree whenever I do it. But I have not been able to do it yet. But next time we meet, uh, hopefully I'll be done with the challenge. Amazing. Yeah, it looks good though. So keep it. Yeah. I mean, if I uh, remove it from my room, I don't have anything to like make it look pretty. So, I mean, it's good there. So I'm a huge fan, as uh, Necron said. When I saw the picture that Necron has with you, I was so jealous. I'm a huge, huge fan and I really love what you did in the uh worse i mean the more warfare 2 campaign thank you very much man Mucha gracia. i really appreciate it brother we put everything heart and soul and 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 so much corazón man so much passion went into every single second of making that game everybody at infinity ward is como mi familia so it's a pleasure to just do it every day and um anytime they call me back in i'm like yeah let's do it hope we see that in the future brother because your skin now for me is like my main skin that's that's how uh, my community knows me from brother, now on that's right. <laughs> yeah no sé qué tanto te sientas como hablando español pero ahorita algo que que nos gustó mucho hacer con valeria fue como que tomar el personaje y mandar un mensaje pues para la comunidad de de warzone y call of duty en latinoamérica como ves. No, I def yeah, of course, I definitely will. You know, español fue mi primer lenguaje. And over the years, man, because I'm from Miami. So in Miami, if you don't speak Spanish in Miami, you can't live in Miami. Pero la cosa es que como yo no vivo en Miami, I live in Los Angeles now. I'm barely speaking Spanish. I work and I do a lot of Spanish and I do a lot of voiceovers in Spanish, but como it's a, I have a script, okay. but yeah, I can definitely, yeah. So of course, when we talk about anything, performance capture, anything about my acting, es difícil for me to encontrar las palabras en inglés <laughs> sometimes to, you know, so that's why I'm like, let me try and figure out what the words are in, in English. But yeah, of course, you want me to say something? I'll say cualquier cosa como Alejandro, hermanos, yes. No. Un mensaje. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, pues no sé. I, este... la voz. I love doing the la voz, man. When people, when Latinos, when whenever the fans, they meet me in la calle and they say, hey, are you Alejandro? I always the same thing. What, are they, what do you think, hermano? <laughs> crazy, man. They go crazy. Yeah. Um, I mean, I just say something like, uh, shout out to the LATAM Call of Duty community. Uh, no sé, un abrazo fuerte a la comunidad de Latinoamérica de Call of Duty. Y pues nada, Alejandro Vargas lo saluda o algo así. Estaría bastante bien. ¿Cuál es, cuál es la ciudad? Mm, podríamos este, ponerlo nada más para, para México, un país total. Para México, hermano Alejandro Vargas. Tiene amor para todos, para todos mis hermanos, mis hermanas. Orale, compa. Gracias, compadre. <laughs> so it's possible that we'd see uh, more Alejandro Vargas in the future for the Call of Duty franchise? What oh, do you think? man, I hope. I hope so. I hope, man, I hope so. I mean, I like I said, I love working for Infinity Ward. I love the fans. I love the community. I didn't expect it because yo soy actor. You know, I was just kind of doing my thing and, and, and just focused on el papel and that's it. But then when the game came out, all of these fans just kind of came out of nowhere and they started to send me fan art and they started to make me, me, me paran en la calle, me dicen, hey man, está en el aeropuerto. The other day I had people calling their wives and FaceTiming. He said, hold on a second, hold on a second. Mira Alejandro Vargas, Alejandro Vargas. <laughs> Ay, mucho gusto, señora. You know, it's, 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 it's always a pleasure. And um, from the bottom of my heart, you know, it's, I, I love it, man. It, it, the community is incredible and I didn't expect that. So, so was it the first time that you were working on a video game uh, set or something like that? So it was the first time uh, haciendo uh, video games? No, but uh, doing motion capture. Yes. Yeah. So for the most part, I was just uh, working with my voice in recording booths. A uh, few games, but this was the first time that I had to put on the whole suit con la cámara en frente with the helmet and everything. Uh, which I'm sure Maria explained. She she gets so excited when she when she was there. So I'm sure she talked a lot about it. But oh, 
Yeah, I mean, it's uh, was the first time that I was able to do it, but okay, it's it, it it's a lot like como teatro, you know, it's a lot like being on stage. And I I studied theater when I was younger, so uh, the camera is is everywhere, so you don't have to worry. It's not like film que te dicen aquí mismo, and this is all you have. You know, you can kind of just do whatever you want, y, and there's so much freedom para el actor to just kind of play around and do whatever it is that they want to do with each other. You know? Yeah. Um. What was your like best memory from the set working with your, I mean, Valeria and all the other characters, ghosts? I gotta say, man, I loved, I, I loved, you know, mis hermanos in 141, pero también I loved working with Maria. You know, I loved that, that scene because uh, I, you know, it's funny when they came out with the season three trailer. Con todos los animales, all the beasts kind of roam. I was like, man, that's perfect because that we never discussed it like that. But that's that's exactly how it felt the day of. I just felt like I came, you know, como un lobo, just crazy, wild. And then Maria came and said, hey, no, tampoco. It's not like that. I, I'm going to, you know, she's going to have her bite también. And she bit back. And don't say we were just going at it the whole time. And, and, I was like, wait a minute, what's going on? That's the first day I met Maria, you know? We had never met before. That so, scene was from the uh, first day you met each other? Damn. First day, that was the first, the first time we ever acted was that scene. A lot of energy there. A lot of energy. Oh, incredible, yeah. And I brought it and she brought it. And uh, yeah, so that was my favorite day. Well, um, we don't want to take a lot of time from you. Uh, so just to end the call real quick. Can you, uh, just the last question is, um, de tu, de tu forma de ser, um, el personaje de Alejandro Vargas tiene uh, características que tú tienes también, o sea, par varias cosas del de personaje de Alejandro Vargas están basadas sobre tu forma de ser o hay una inspiración dentro de, del personaje? Yeah, you know, I, yo soy una persona bien driven. Hey, I see that, you know, being an actor out here, it's very, very difficult to uh, to make it, man, to be to to have a career, to work at all. So I'm somebody who is very gung ho, very driven. Y yo creo que Alejandro is a lot like that in his missions. You know, he's somebody who no matter what it happens, no matter what gets in front of them, he goes 100% and and uh, and he gets the job done. You know, I think that. Uh, Los humanos, we have we have um, very strong spirits. El espíritu de nosotros es bien fuerte. Y es una cosa que I really brought to Alejandro. And there's what the one thing that I can say that I love the most about Alejandro is that Alejandro to me is tiene el espíritu de un azteca. And I thought to myself, oh man, este si Alejandro, este humano has el espíritu de azteca, he's unstoppable. He's like a superhero, right? So I always think about that too, is that regardless of whatever happens, whatever our bodies, whatever, whatever our external circumstances are, nosotros tenemos que tener un espíritu bien fuerte and igual como Alejandro. So I think that we both, we both have that strong spirit. So, orale. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, so yeah. it was a huge pleasure to meet you. Un gusto conocerte. Oh, Alejandro hey, Aín, esperemos si tengamos, man, esperemos si tengamos mucho más Alejandro Vargas en el futuro de la franquicia de Call of Duty y pues gracias por tu tiempo y esperemos te digo, que la próxima vez que tengamos oportunidad de coincidir que esta madre ya no esté aquí. Oh, yeah. it's okay, even if it's there, it's a luce bueno, pero to all the fans, to everybody that played the game. To los fans que son latinos, mi hermanos, my I love you guys, and uh, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy the season three, and yeah, uh, I'm coming for Valeria, so. <laughs> Appreciate so, yeah. the time, brother. No problem, man, no problem, brother. Take care. Take care.